Hello everyone, welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. For today's URC Round 5 review, very, very interesting weekend of rugby. From a perspective, three out of four and a controversial loss with the Bulls going down to the scarlet to the first game of the weekend for South African sides. But another red card, another bit of a controversial call, and that has definitely dominated a lot of the discourse over the last few days. But it wasn't always the smooth sailing for the South African teams. Had to all play really well, dig really deep to get their victories. But importantly, most of them did. Before we look at the results as well as the table, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Let's have a look, shall we? It all started on Friday night. Ulster beating Ospreys 36 points to 12. And... Uh, an important victory for Ulster, who need to pick up the games when they can. They're currently sitting in fifth, and they had a bit of an up-and-down start to, to proceed so far in the tournament. But uh, games like that, for example, games where they should win, um, and going and getting that win is is quite important. Uh, but the big one we're talking about is the Scarlets versus Bulls game. Now, Jan Kropler was sent off in this game, and uh, I don't think uh, too many people are agreeing with that decision. And... It would be very interesting to see, for example, we saw David Creel be set off a week ago, then getting it rescinded. We have to wait and see what the situation is going to be with Johan Kroblov, but not a popular decision. And uh, the Bulls losing their first game of the season, still remain in fourth, and we've got a game in hand. So not a disaster by any means, but a game that a lot of people felt, should ha had they been with a full contingent, they'd be sitting with a full house of wins so far this season. If you go look down to Saturday, it wasn't smooth sailing for the Lions in very tricky conditions, but they edged out a victory against Zebra. And for me, this is the big difference between the Lions teams of old and this current Lions team. They didn't play particularly well. Um, Zebra did actually pitch up and play quite well. And we saw a year ago, a similar time, Zebra beating the Sharks in the URC. And it was an off day for the Sharks. Now, it was a bit of an off day for the Lions, and yet they still managed to get the result. They actually had to grind out a result. And they are up into second place with a game in hand as well on majority of the uh, the table. So really good for them. They're going to Leinster this weekend. So be very surprised if they pick up anything this weekend. Maybe uh, if they put, really put out a big performance can find a losing bonus point or the likes. Very important for the Sharks. They picked up a victory against the current champions, Glasgow Warriors, 20 points to 24. It wasn't smooth sailing. It was a close game, although Glasgow Warriors did score right at the end. So this maybe looks a little bit less uh, reflective of the, how the game really did play out. But uh, the main thing for the Sharks, they managed to get their, uh, their, their big players back, get the result, and start working their way back up that table. They're currently sitting in 13th place, one place behind the Stormers, who looked very good for their 34 points to 19 victory over Munster. It was a bit of a weekend of the fullbacks. I played Fassi playing really well. Daniel Williams was starting in at 10 for Stormers. Was the man of the match. An absolute superb game from him. Really good to see him finding some confidence and some form. He'll be in action with the box in a few weeks' time. So important for him to get this game time and to get the confidence and the form and match fitness up to, to that sort of standard. Then we had uh, Edinburgh beating Cardiff. Leinster hammering Connacht, uh, on the, the try scoring list and looked really good as well. I think that's the main thing from a Saturn perspective. Yes, he's playing for Leinster, but goodness me, he's like transforming certain parts of it with his offload game, the physicality he brings. He's such a talented player and really good to see him playing uh, right at the top. Benton, on the other hand, continued their good form, starting to look a bit more like the Benton of last season, who were a team that you did not want to write off and you needed to respect a lot. They came away with a 31 points, 21 victory against the Dragons, which means if we look at the table, Leinster with 25 out of a possible 25 points in first place. The Lions in second with a game on hand on Glasgow Warriors, 18 points up there with points difference. And um, they, um, sorry, with, with, with the number of wins, we're having won four games so far. Glasgow Warriors, uh, two wins. Sorry, three wins, two losses, picking up a few more bonus points than the Lions, who did not pick up a bonus point last weekend, nor this weekend, but sit with 18 out of a possible 20 points. So, a very good start for the Lions. And if they were to come away with a point against the Leinster this weekend, I think they'd be very happy. They're three points ahead of the Bulls uh, with the same amount of games, for example. They are you know, eight points already ahead of the Stormers and the Sharks, having played the same amount of games. So, really good stuff for the Lions. They'll be full of confidence at the moment and need to try and stay in around this this sort of top six, really. The main thing is, is that they've won four games this season. If you go back to last season, they won a total 
of nine games and it was actually games one which 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 did them in the end you see that a much better i mean they had 128 points tips compared to ospreys i think it's all games one things nonsense to be perfectly honest but um ospreys won more games the lions won nine in the entire last season out of 18 they're now currently sitting with four wins out of four so you'd like to think that they should be able to amass 10 11 even 12 wins this season potentially and they go and do that and they'll find themselves in this top eight. They'll find themselves in the Champions Cup. They'll find themselves in URC playoffs. And that's what we've got to do. So let's start thing this weekend. You don't look too much. But in December, you've got to pick another two wins. And you just, and then you just got to win your home games. Win your home games. And uh, you'll be well on your way to, to making those playoffs. Further down the table, Stormers and the Sharks are off the bottom of the table. They're currently sitting two points away from... Uh, the top eight, both of them, as well having a point a game in hand. So not a disaster start from them because of this weekend's results. Had they lost this weekend's um, games, then they would have been in, in very big trouble. But uh, yeah, let me know what you thought about the weekend's results down in the comments below. Please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve, and I'll chat to you soon.